Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, you know, 1 John 5, 13 says, These things have I written unto you that believe of the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. And right, it says that we may know, okay? And, you know, I love showing people this verse and... You know, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I love showing people this verse. And the reason I love showing people this verse is because there's a lot of people that think that you can't know that you have eternal life. Okay. And there's a lot of people that um, claim to be Christians and say that nobody can know for sure that they have eternal life. And that's false, that's heresy. And, you know, a couple days ago, I was at a bakery with uh, a family member. And there was this other man there at the bakery that I found out was, you know, like a, like childhood friends of, of the, my, my family member, okay, that they grew up together and stuff. And um, that guy... He's a pastor. He uh, pastors this Wesleyan Methodist church in town here, okay? And, you know, he seemed like a pretty nice guy, polite. Um, and he, he invited me to his church. And, look... <laughs> Methodists, they don't have assurance of salvation, okay? And they don't understand the gospel, okay? And the only way I'm going to go to Wesleyan Methodist Church is if I'm preaching there, okay? That's literally the only condition where you'll find me at a Methodist church as if they have me preach. <laughs> and so, you know, I didn't fight with the guy or anything. I, I was polite because he was polite. But, um, look, you can know that you have eternal life very clear here in the Bible and a few years ago I went door to door soul winning with this uh, older brother at this ch church that I, I visited a few times and in between knocking doors you know we would have conversations and one of the conversations I had with him was uh, you know I, I wanted to I was just curious. I wanted to know if, you know, if did he, you know, it was a, it was an independent Baptist church we were going to. So I want to know if he, you know, if he grew up Baptist, uh, or did you know did he get saved early in his life or later in his life? And then he told me that actually he was um, he was raised as a Methodist for. And he went to the Methodist church for almost 40 years. And pretty much all they told him could be summed up as be good, read your Bible, don't drink and don't smoke, and treat people well. <laughs> and, you know, he, he never in four decades, pretty much. You know, nearly four, it was like 39 and a half years, something like that. You know, nearly 40 years. He never heard the gospel at that Methodist church. And yeah, they would use the word gospel, but they never say what it was. Never preach the actual gospel. 
and um, you know something that is a brain teaser for me is if you go and congregate somewhere where a pastor cannot show you how you can know that you have eternal life where you know the guy that's preaching either thinks you could lose your salvation or you know thinks that you can never know and all this stuff and all this heresy where you know they they think it's impossible to know before you die whether or not you have eternal life. What's a brain teaser to me is like, and it's like, why are you there? You know, any other thing in your life, for example, right? If, if you didn't know how to fix your car and there was a problem with your car, and you took your car to a guy who claims to be a mechanic. And, you know, you're like, well, can you fix it? And the guy's like, well, I don't know. Well, do, do you go to another mechanic or do you just say, well, let's not know together? Hey, can I tithe to you? Can I, you know, can I stay here for decades with you? <laughs> It's crazy. And, you know, how about some other things? Well, you know, let's say you're sick or something. You go to the doctor. And you're like, you know, doctor, what's wrong with me? And the guy's like, I don't know. Well, you know, are you just going to hang out with that doctor for 40 years if he can never tell you what's, what's wrong with you? Or are you going to go, you know, to somebody else to know what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Um, if, if you want, like, if... You know, if, if you if you had a cavity in your tooth and you, you went to a dentist that didn't know how to, you know, clean your teeth and plug up that cavity and stuff, you know, I, I would hope you, you would go to a dentist that knows how to do that stuff. You know what I mean? And in a lot of things like that, in other scenarios that, that, that aren't, you know, religious. People have, like, some common sense. And, you know, they'll, they'll go to the dentist that knows what he's doing. They'll go to the car mechanic that, that can diagnose the problem and fix the car. They'll go to the doctor that can pop their shoulder back in, you know. <laughs> but with... With eternity, a lot of people will go to somebody that can't tell them how they can be sure that they're saved. Who can't point them to Jesus Christ. And that's a, it boggles my mind. It's a brain teaser. It, it, sometimes I think about it so much, like... You know, I almost have a headache thinking about it. Of, of how bizarre it is. And look, uh, verse 10 of 1 John chapter 5, and I'll, and I'll read it all the way to 13. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. 
And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that uh, hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know, may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. And look, why are you going to people who make God out to be a liar? Why do you go to people that don't believe the record that God gave of his son? Okay? And that God has given to us eternal life and that this life is in his son. It's crazy. You know, if if you live in a country where like taxes are, are like really complicated and you didn't know how to do them yourself you're going to go to uh, you know somebody who knows how to do it you're not going to go to somebody who doesn't know how to do it and says I don't know how to do it and you, and you're not just going to have them to try to do your taxes for for the rest of your life you know no you're going to go to somebody who knows how to do it But with, with, with going to heaven with eternal life, a lot of people want to stick with somebody who doesn't know how to tell them, who doesn't know the directions to heaven, who doesn't know who saves to the uttermost, who doesn't know that Jesus Christ is the Savior. I mean, God help people.